Thank you, Nico. Tonight, the search is on in Pasco County for some thieves who stole from people with special needs. Three buses they depend on for transportation were vandalized over the weekend when crooks used a saw to steal catalytic converters out of each bus. News Channel 8's Melanie Michael is in Newport. Richie with that story. You've got to wonder, who would do something like this? It broke our hearts when we heard this story to know that someone would steal from people with special needs. This is one of the buses that was vandalized over the weekend, and tonight, Newport Ritchie police need your help to find the person responsible. Talk about the lowest of the low, stealing from people who depend on these buses for a better life. Those are my babies, and they don't understand what's going on and what's wrong. And why is this bus so loud? They ride with us for years and years, and, and we're honored to be a part of their, their uh, you know, outer family. Um, we see them Monday through Friday. They're the same people, same faces. These are the buddy buses that were vandalized. And listen to this. They're kept in a church parking lot for safety. So whoever did this came to the Faith Lutheran Church in Newport Ritchie and stole the parts right here in front of the church. Those who drive the buddy buses showed up Monday morning in shock. This world is just cruel to me, period. You know what I'm saying? So they, they do all kind of stuff. So, you know, I don't know. I hope they couldn't get rid of none of them. Three catalytic converters were stolen, and it'll cost nearly $2,000 a piece for each bus to get fixed. Bus driver Charlene Santos had tears in her eyes. This is like my family. I am upset. <laughs> I am sad and upset. Catalytic converters are not cheap, and they're certainly not easy to access either, since they're located underneath the bus between the muffler and the engine, a crucial part of the exhaust system. They're going to gain a few hundred dollars from it. It's costing us thousands of dollars to get them replaced. This is really the heart and soul of Buddy Bus. It's in their motto, always ride with a buddy. The owner says those who ride his bus, those with special needs, are family to him. He says they were scared when this happened, and now they just want to find who's responsible. So if you know anything, please call Newport Ritchie Police. I'm Melanie Michael in Pasco County, 8 on your side.